Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa. I'm from Tony Hill Secondary School and I'm in Form 2. So here I'm going to talk about a little topic called neoteny. Now what is neoteny? A short definition of neoteny is delayed maturity. It's more like a genetic mutation among humans. Now maybe about hmm, a few thousand years ago, Some people has gained, mm, has gained neoteny in their genes. The genes mutated, and this happened. Yep. Mm. So now you know it means delayed maturity. Now, a little, a little side fact about it. Neoteny can be found in certain places among certain people certain races. Now in case you're thinking, this if you're saying certain races and you're talking about a certain topic, doesn't it sound kind of racist? Well no, I do not mean it in a racist way. I, I'm doing this based on scientific findings. So where can Nyatani be found? Generally it's found among Asian people. I'm going to have, have a little flag of China here. Yep, it can be found among Asians. Now, why would I say this? Well, let us go, get on to the traits of neoteny. Now, there are two kinds of neoteny. First, I'm going to talk about physical neoteny. There are some physical traits of neoteny which makes it distinguishable among people. Now some physical traits of neoteny are larger heads. And shorter limbs. Large eyes and also hmm, a generally hairless body. Now, do you know why it's like this? Well, like I said, neoteny is delayed maturity. This is why Asians tend to have a more babyish face. We tend to have larger heads, shorter lips, large eyes, and a hairless body. Well, of course, we have hair in parts where we should have hair. Yeah. Mm. Now that's just physical traits. Oh, alright. I have another, another side effect for you. Mm. An example of the physical traits. So you all know those Japanese animes, do you? Of course you do, you, you see those pictures everywhere, Japanese animes. And I know that there's a lot of otakus around the world. <clears throat> so you all know that they generally have these traits, shorter limbs probably, yeah. <clears throat> yep. So anime is an example of Nyatani. Mm. Now here's another one, another kind of neoteny. There's also psychological neoteny. Now what? What is psychological neoteny? Well, it's basically our mindset. Mm -hmm. So again, neoteny means delayed maturity, and how can it be applied to our, to how we think? Well, there's a slow. Now, when you were a kid, I think it was easier for you to learn your languages. Yes, it's much easier to learn as a child. As you get older, it gets harder. So, like I said, maybe it's like, let's just say it's more like delayed maturity of mind.
This probably doesn't apply to our actions, but it does apply to how we learn. Mm. Like I said earlier, it's easier for us to learn as a child. Neoteny is delayed maturity or, or more juvenile traits, younger traits, babyish traits. Okay, maybe not so babyish, but you get the idea. Mm. Now, psychological neoteny will allow it will allow easier learning since we tend to think like a child mm. the same way it's easier for us to learn as a child neoteny allows us allows any neotenized person will find it easier to learn since you know they think like a child yes this is a general overview of neoteny. There's a few other scientific findings, like our bone structure, our skull structure is an example of this. Yeah. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you understand what I just said. <laughs> and thank you for your time. <laughs>